right, one to, uh, if you want to move back a little bit. we got me in there. Um, now, basically, we're going to do a simple thing. In order for this uh, mirror to adhere to this properly, we need to clean the surface. What they did at the factory is they used the spray adhesive, which was a rubber-based product, and rubber does not like to really glue to anything, as it is more of an uh, oil-based product. We're using a silicone-based product that is normally used on all American cars and all cars in nature except for these. The reason they put the black mylar pad was to cover a heating element. And being that you use aluminum oxide dual surface mirrors on these vehicles, what was happening was is that the heating element was burning into the aluminum oxide, making it turn brown. So they solved the problem by putting a mylar pad over the heating element that is underneath this. In doing so, they used spray adhesive instead of silicone, which we are using. And basically, the mirror fell out after seven, eight, nine years. Um, in the 2004 series, they started falling out around 2008. So the first thing we do is get nail polish remover, as I have on the website, in the directions, which I've already applied to the bracket, to the, to the towel. And basically, we're going to rub anything, any debris that's on this uh, frame. Um, we don't have to go totally crazy because I don't know what this white stuff is. It could be uh, something that was used, maybe the mirror had fallen out and they used some kind of material. What we're really trying to do now is get off of, get off the mirror this small layer of uh, rubber that is basically was used to adhere it. Uh, we we'll let that dry for a sec. Now we suggest on the website we do sell the silicone. This is pure silicone, which is 100% non-latex based. Uh, latex will not glue and not bond to mirror or glass. It will bond to plastic, just like it does in your bathroom. It will not bond to the glass for very long. So this is a pure silicone, very high acidic. And back in the good old days, it was used to put in windshields back in the 70s and it did eat pinch welds and stuff like that so as we remove this there's a special way we want you to glue these Saab 93's now this is not just for the Saab 93 the Saab 93 the Volvo the BMW Mercedes Volkswagen are all having the same problem because it is all coming from the same manufacturer uh, so all those vehicles are having problems as well with mirrors falling out of the car. So what we want you to do is basically take the tube with the white nozzle and then you break the end. You just break the end of the tip. Now what we suggest on the website is we want your heating element to still function. And one way of doing that is uh, if I was just the glue here and here, it would only heat the heating element, it would only heat the glass in those specific areas in which we use where we put the silicone. Okay, now come closer to me. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to create a dot pattern. And the way we're doing this dot pattern is one quarter inch by one quarter inch. And I kind of explain it on the web page as being something like, uh, apply it like the measles. Now, we don't have to be perfect. We also want it to be about a half an inch away from the frame edge so that what we're basically doing here is when I make all these little dots, when I put the glass in, it is going to create, all these little dots are going to connect, thus creating what they call a silicone pad. What is that silicone pad going to do? It's going to help you when you turn on your when your back glass or your defogger initiates the heating element activation. So this way your glass will get hot evenly instead of in spots. So we're creating a silicone pad situation here. And like I say, we don't have to go crazy with the perfection. As you notice, I did not use the white cap because the end of this tip is pretty much a quarter inch. Alrighty, so now what we do is you're going to get painter's tape and uh, get it prepared so that when you lay the mirror in it's all ready to go and we've got a little secret here where you put the tape here and you put the tape there we take our mirror 
which is going to be of the same fit as the mirror that came out. We apply it to the frame. Now, as my, as my lovely expert told me, what I should do is get a uh, something to hold up and push against the, uh, put it on backwards, hold up and put against the mirror so that this way it presses against the mirror glass as she is driving. So we just basically get a piece of uh, box or some kind of uh, styrofoam as I have here, which is going to basically hold her mirror in as she drives, okay? Now I'll put it, I'm gonna put in a little extra tape on the sides just to make sure that it doesn't move on her. Now, when we push the mirror in, all those little dots now got together. And it's important because now in the winter time, as in New York, uh, a lot of people uh, that live in California, or Arizona, Florida, they don't really need to concern themselves with heating elements. But here in New York, being it was minus five almost every day for, for almost, what, two months? Uh, we enjoyed the fact that we woke up in the morning with uh, frozen windshields, frozen side mirrors, and I've even had people use uh, hot water to get the ice off of their windshield as uh, the windshield then cracked in a million pieces and brought it to my shop. So you basically have seen the simple operation of... Uh, of uh, replacing a Saab 93 mirror, which is also the same replacement as the Volvos, the S60, the S80, the V70s, and such, the XC series, uh, the BMW 318, 325i's all falling out, uh, the Volkswagen Passat, the Volkswagen Jetta, and all the Volkswagen Beetles, they're all falling out. So this is a very easy solution. The most important thing, again, was to clean the surface off, not so much of the debris, which we couldn't get that white stuff off, but it didn't seem to be a problem. I was basically getting off the, uh, the, the, the glue that, as you notice, we got a little black nastiness there, but it also, it could, that mylar uh, could be cracked and chipping, which I think this mirror just fell off on you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you had left it alone like some people do for weeks, uh, eventually that would break down and they'd start chipping off. Uh, so now you've basically seen a quick video of how we do the 9.3 as I've shown in another video before, but we actually had a vehicle. And after you're done with it, you can now move your housing back. And she is not to remove this for at least four hours because the cure time of the glue at uh, between 45 and 75 degrees or at 95 degrees is four hours. Uh, the manufacturer even states on the website you can use this glue down to minus 45. I was very surprised to hear that and as high as 145. I don't know where the 45s are coming in, but I think I'll bet that number on the lotto in a little while um, and such. So we thank you for uh, uh, them coming over and having me show you this uh, video. And uh, um, I'd like to show another one if you would allow me. And thank you very much. And uh, if you need to order these mirrors, Please go to the bottom of, of the webpage and to our Saab website, along with also the Volvo, the, Mer the Mercedes, the BMW, and the, um, what's the other car? The Volkswagen. Okay. Thank you. And I thank you very much. This is Ray from Internet Glass Network. And you guys have a great afternoon, great day. And don't worry, this is an easy job. Okay.